Okay, so changing the oil of the VW Caddy and uh, it really needed a change. They say you only have to change it after 200,000 kilometers. I advise everyone not to do that and please change it earlier because it's such an easy job and uh, look how dark the oil was already guys. 170 thousand kilometers okay and um, yes quite dark already so I advise anyone to change it all you do is you take the screw underneath here and then there's a top one over there okay see this one there where it's open there you go so this is the top screw and this is the bottom screw which is exactly they are exactly the same and I made a tool to uh, untighten them just welded a hot steel nut to a hot steel screw uh, because this is a 17 okay millimeters so you just need a normal screw to just go in inside just like that no gaps and it will untighten okay easiest way without having to buy tools I don't know why I can't just be a hexagonal exterior screw but it could take like a washer and you know but anyways there would got to be a difference one manufacturer to the other so just letting it give out the last drops and uh, putting the screw back on Falling with the oil and that's it. They have to get this to get washed the engine, you know. I still haven't had time, but I have to. Okie dokie, and that's how we start this video. <laughs> Okie dokie, so I'm ready to put the cover on. All good and ready to go. So it took almost two liters of oil, okay. And uh, now we got to test it out. We'll see the difference it makes this time in this car. The carpets are very nice, these carpets that we built the other day, if you guys remember. I uh, don't know why I can't get any lights. Okay, much better. Okay. The carpets really worked out well. Very happy with these carpets indeed. They're great carpets. And now I actually have to reset the oil service of the the sack, so I even forgot about that. Okay. Ah Sasha. <laughs> Sasha's always around. Always got to be extra careful. Okay, see if there's any error codes. Never changed it on this car before. No, all good. Switch it on. Let us warm up a little bit. Okay, no error codes. That's a good sign. Switch off the ventilation, that's too much noise. What a difference. The reverse did right now. Going down the ramps, gotta go slowly. <laughs> so it's uh, gonna go slow. It's a higher course, so not that complicated. Okay. Let's see the gears here. <laughs> yep, what a difference. Look at that. It used to, it was already starting to like scrub when it, I used to put the reverse. Yes, everyone change your gearbox oil, it's worth it, believe me. Marvelous. I'm just going to take it for a test drive.
What a difference, everyone. I will advise you all again. Sorry, always looking at the wrong side. <laughs> Do change your gearbox oil. It is very important if you want to. First, preserve your gearbox. Transmission. And uh, second of all, what a difference with the gear shifting. I mean, whoever knows about these things already knows it makes a big, huge difference. But, um, wow. This car really needed it. And they said um, it didn't need it, only after 200,000 kilometers, which I think is ridiculous. Um, that's just to get you like in troubles with the transmission and the big bulb. Nowadays we don't need bolts. <laughs> the fewer the better, you know. What a big difference. I'm just changing through gears. I'm gonna turn around over here. Okie dokie. Look at this. The reverse never did this. I mean even since I've I'm not exaggerating, but after one year after I bought this car, I should have changed the gearbox oil. So something wrong whenever I used to do the reverse it used to go like you know it doesn't do it anymore it's really soft either I don't know what oil Volkswagen boots in it but uh, it's just it's completely different so I don't know all I know is that uh, I'm going to start changing the gearbox oil on uh, all the cars more often because that's with it. now I'm getting the sun against my face so I think I'll just see if I can change all the gears. Yep. Excellent. What a difference. What a difference. Whoa, that's only strong. Sorry guys. Gotta go with the sun forces. <laughs> Amazing. I love it when a person goes through work, you know, goes through some travel. And then in the end it just gives you back something, you know. It's so cool. I just love it. I really feel happy whenever this happens. <laughs> excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I think it's even responding much better. Especially like on um, autos control, it must be much better. Yep. Even with the auto control, maintains a certain speed. It is much better, everyone. Much, much better. What a difference indeed. Look at this. Reverse. Never been so soft. Not even from factory. Don't ask me why. I don't care what they say. Maybe it didn't have enough oil. I don't know. All I know is it took almost two liters. It's not quite two liters. You have to buy two liters. But it'll take like, I'll say, one point... 1.8 and Tá muito melhor. Tá como novo, meu. Acho que até tá melhor do que novo. Tá excelente. Está melhor do que novo. Vai ver a diferença? Nem parece o mesmo carro. Hey everyone. 
So my friend just taught me that strawberries actually grow themselves and create like this roots over here. I had no clue. I was like looking for strawberries to buy them to replant and plant more. But how amazing is that? I didn't even notice that this stalk right here is gaining a root. <laughs> what? <laughs> so right now, what he says is if I make a little hole here, it will gain roots. Oh, so many flies into the ground. Now the ideal thing would be for me to get like some little cups, plastic cups, and put them in with dirt, so that then I can re-transplant them. But uh, I don't have cups right now, so I'm just going to like try and get it into this ground here because I wanted to plant more remember so let's get this done how cool is that I had no clue I know I sound stupid I'm sure most of you guys already knew this so this comes out and gains a little root so if I put it like that it's gonna plant another strawberry plant it's gonna grow another strawberry plant I'm actually quite surprised and shocked because I didn't know that. Look at that. This guy also has a little one. I had no clue, guys. So now we can make this a bigger strawberry garden right here. Okay. Just going to like do that. Okay, little guy, you can grow there if you want. Okay, let's see if we got any more. I'm gonna have to buy like a lot of cups because look at this. It's full of them, guys. I have to buy more cups. Yeah. So that was cool. So we gained another one. Two, so I just made a little hole for the roots to go in. And three and four. Just gained four strawberry plants and I knew nothing. I know nothing. <laughs> Se é o patinho feio, sou eu. O patinho feio, sou eu. O que mais é que é? O que é it's got like all these different meats, beautiful melted cheese, with two loaves of bread. Then you got the chips which you put inside the sauce. And they got the steak. And he has a, a steak with a carrot. <laughs> How cute is that? <laughs> and now you put all the chips on the sauce, but that sauce different from this one, so we'll see which one is better. Okay, guys, look at that. Eh? <laughs> it's, wow. got it's got steak, it's got like this special sausages, more steak, it's got like a bacon, ham, and another loaf of bread underneath. That's cool. Let's see which sauce is the best. This one? Wow, that's some nice gravy. Eh? Oh, this one. They're both very good. 
can say something now. <laughs> we are going to go on this bridge, suspense bridge. Um, it's quite big and uh, quite hot as well. <laughs> so we're going to do a lot of exercise today. <laughs> Let me turn the camera. Check it out. Look at this, guys. What? Quite big. So we ate well, too well to walk a lot, you know. So we're trying to do this in, in like little steps. <laughs> um, but it's quite beautiful, the view. Never been here, it's the first time. Very cool. Quite amazing guys, check it out. <laughs> this is huge. Amazing. Check it out everyone. I know you can't see how big it is, only in real life. Pretty cool. Okay, so the whole bridge start, like waves and shakes. They say you can't put your hands there, you see. Because or else it gets like caught. Because this is always moving the bridge, you see. So you can't put your hands in these little gaps over here where you got the union of the tunnels. This isn't quite a tunnel, it's like a semi tunnel. <laughs> Pretty cool, quite long. It's not the biggest one. I wanted it to be the biggest one in Europe, I think. I don't think it is. It does like move a lot, so if you have like dizziness problems, it's going to be a problem for you guys. <laughs> it does move a lot. So that's why they don't allow a lot of people in one time, so that uh, maybe it doesn't shake too much and scare people out too much. It's just the net in the bottom. See? That's a cool view. I'm actually going a little bit far so I can stay away from the groups. I say I can't fall. See that? That's the river that goes down through there. Very nice view. Then you can go through all this wooden sidewalks that they have throughout the mountain. Go all the way around through the river side. It was like uh, kilometers and kilometers of uh, wooden sidewalks, you know? It's like paths that they make for tourists. They all like to do hiking. I was like waving more with people going by. <laughs> it starts waving much more. See? All that wooden pots down there. Some go right next to the river, then you can bath and everything else. I don't know, the water doesn't look very clear to me. There's a nice waterfall though. Get a bit closer. <laughs> it's always moving up and down the bridge. With all the weights. So, I told you guys, there's going to be sightseeing content and everything else, you know. Um, not bad. 
sightseeing. <laughs> um, ready to prepare in the next video with some other cool contents and just going to keep on pushing forward. Um, super motivated, quite happy because we already got 40 subscribers, so that's cool. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Um, getting more views on the channel that's also super motivating so I'm just going to keep on pushing um, keep on rowing this boat you know to the way of success yes <laughs> okay now a lot of people are coming I'll switch off now okay so that port's done quite a quite a hike eh Two of the friends didn't have courage to come. They stayed in the beginning. <laughs> said it was too high. And that it was shaking too much. And they got like heights, um, they're like phobic on heights. So they said no ways. <laughs> so they, they didn't do it. So I'm going to meet up with them and say, what happened guys? <laughs> they just stay there. And I was like waiting down there for them come back and I'm like where are they? They didn't even move one foot on the bridge. <laughs> oh man thank well you, it's what it is you know which one has their own fields. Always try to get um, over them you know that's the best solution but if you can't just stay put and relax. <laughs> okay so we've done the way back that's it. Let's go see what scared these guys out. <laughs> you guys. What happened to you guys? Why didn't you come? <laughs> okay guys, so that's done. Now we're gonna go through uh, one of those wooden paths down to find a bowl. <laughs> Have something to drink. Okay, see you guys. This is pretty cool. So now I have to go all the way down there, go across there, not through the road, through the other part that's down there, and I think there's a coffee bar at the end where we can have some, uh, you know, something to drink, hydrates, water, juice, everything. So yeah, that's what we cool. My advice is everyone bring water whenever you do these things because like in this case of the bread they should have it but um, yeah just bring your own water always it's always better. Finally made it guys. <laughs>